this video we're going to look at percent problems. We'll do five pages. Here's page one. What number is a percentage of something? And then at the end of per page two, we start with what percent of six is three, and uh, what percent of something is something. And then by page four, we're looking at 30 is 50% of what number, 22 is 25% of what number, and so on. And then we'll look at uh, this, and then end up with what is 5.4% of that. Okay. Okay. So let's start with page one. What number is 50% of 6? Write down the answer, first of all. Okay, now we have to get what number is 44% of 38, so of course we'll need a little bit of uh, a strategy. But uh, can you tell me the answer to this? 50% is the same thing as 1 half, right? Isn't it? Remember that? So what number is half of 6? The answer is 3, right? Now, the way we were going to do this is we're going to say, okay, we want to get 50% of 6. Now, of, you might remember, means multiply. Okay? 50% can be turned into a decimal. What's 50% as a decimal? You can move the decimal point one, two spaces to the left and get point five zero or zero point five zero. So zero point five zero of fifty percent of six is zero point five zero times six. So you can just multiply these numbers, okay? Zero point five times six. Six five is thirty, carry to three, six zeros is three, three and one decimal point in the problem, so three point zero. So 0 0.5 times 6 gives 3.0 or 3, right? So that's the strategy, is turn the percentage into a decimal and multiply. So what number is 44% of 38? You know, the first thing you got to do is, is, is breathe for a second and think, what am I doing? What am I trying to do? I'm trying to get 44% of 38. I know that of means multiply, okay? Because I want to get 4... 44% can be turned into a decimal. Turn 44% into a decimal. So, of is multiply. 44% as a decimal. I can move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right. Giving me 0.44. Or 0 0.44, you know, multiplied by 38, right? So if I go 0 0.44 times 38, I'll get the answer. So you've got to multiply um, these numbers. 8 times 4, 32, carry to 3. 8 times 4, 32, and 3 is 35, carry to 3. 8 times 0 is 0, and 3 is 3. Put down 0, multiply by 3. 3 fourths is 12, carry the 1. 3 fourths is 12, and 1 is 13. Add these, 2, 7, 6, 1, and there are um, 1, 2 decimal places in the problem, so there's going to be 1, 2 decimal places in the answer, so 16.72 is the answer, 16.72, okay? So on to page... Uh, 2, what number is 7.5% of 2,230? So, you, once again, you and we can think about this as, say, Social Security tax on a monthly wage of $2,230, right? So what would the Social Security tax for the month be for this? So, first of all, turn this percentage into a decimal. And what do you get? Well, the decimal point can be moved one, two spaces to the left, like that, to get point zero, right? So that's going to give me point zero seven 
0.75 or 0 0.075 of is multiply so multiply by multiply by this number right 2 2 3 0 so it's this times this and then you just calculate that so 2 2 3 0 0 0.075 um, multiply them so 5 zeros is 0, 5 threes is 5, carry the 1 5 twos is 10 and 1 is 11, carry the 1, 5 twos is 10, 1 is 11 put down 0 placeholder and multiply by 7, 7 times 0 is 0 7 times 3, 21, carry the 2 7 times 2 is 14, 14 and 2 is 16, carry the 1, 7 times 2 is 14, 14 and 1 is 15, and now add, and I've got 0, 5, 2, 7, 6, 1, and I have 1, 2, three decimal places in the problem. So there's going to be one, two, three decimal places in the answer. So that is 167.25. So Social Security tax of 7.5% on this monthly wage is a dollar or $167.25. Okay. What per Okay, so so that's the answer there. Now, this is a different type of question. What percent of 6 is 3? Can you do that one? What percent of 6 is 3? Just write down the answer. What percent of six is three? <coughs> hmm. And um, well, the answer is three is fifty percent. Is half of six? Okay, because three is fifty percent of six. It's half, right? Um, and I guess one way of figuring this out, and you can decide whether you want to do it this way or not. But what percent is what we don't know? We'll call that P, right? P is the percentage we do not know. Of means multiply times what percent times 6 is. Is can be represented with an equal sign. Is 3. So what percentage of 6 is 3. Isn't that weird that you can turn that English sentence into an equation? And now we can find P and P you see because it's P multiplied by 6 equals 3 or you could write that as 6 uh, times P equals 3. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But the point is you've got to divide by 6 on both sides. We, we did this before didn't we? and we get P equals 3 over 6 you see that's the percentage and now you just turn this fraction into a percent and you have the answer because the answer is 3 over 6 um, and in lowest terms what's that? 1 over 2 right? and then turn that into a percentage well you've got to divide 2 into 1, 2 into 1 goes 0 times, but 2 into 10 goes 5 times. So we get uh, 0 0.5 or 0 0.50 or so 0 0.50 or if you move that decimal point two spaces to the right that is 50 percent. So 3 over 6 becomes a half which ends up being 50 percent. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's a, it's a kind of an interesting one. Some students like to just begin here. 
They just go, okay, three out of six. Look, what percent of six is three? That tells me that I need to go three over six and just simply turn that into a percentage. Okay, so some students don't bother with the equation. That's fine. I think it's kind of fun to try the equation because it'll give us some practice for uh, for for later problems as well. But you know, if you can get the answer, you can get the answer. So, what percent of twenty is nine? I'm going to set up the equations for all of these just for for the fun of it because I think it's I think it's good practice for you. But what percent is something we don't know? Okay, what percent? I'm going to turn this whole sentence into an equation. What percent? I do not know. And I'm going to call it P. It's the unknown. Okay. Of, of means multiply. What percent P of 20, so 20 comes next, is, the word is can be represented with an equal sign, is 9. See that? What percent of 20 is 9? And now I need to solve that equation for P. And we did this earlier. If you want to solve for P, P is being multiplied by 20. So you must divide by 20 on both sides. So we find that the percentage P is 9 over 20. And that is the answer. But the answer at the moment is in fraction form. What we want is we want the answer in percent form okay so we've got to turn this fraction into a percentage okay so go ahead and do that well let's see it's 9 over 20 so you got to go 20 into 9 and let's stick a bunch of zeros there right see what you come up with Twenty into ninety, uh, four times, four twenties is eighty. Subtract, I get ten. Bring down a zero. Twenty into a hundred, five times, five times twenty, one hundred. Subtract and remainder zero. Okay, remainder zero. And this decimal point needs to be above here. So I get zero point four five. So I've turned it into a decimal, zero point four five. And now, of course, the answer has to be in percent form. So you've got to turn that decimal into a percent. So move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right, and we get 45%. And by goodness, I have to say, if you guys are able to do this, you know, like, this is awesome. I mean, you're going from a sentence to an equation, solving an equation, uh, going from a fraction to a decimal, going from a decimal to a percentage, I mean, you're better at you're already better at math than most people. So you gotta pat yourselves on the back and realize how good you're getting at this point. Because I'm kind of expecting you to do all this, and then thinking, wow, it's really cool if you can do all this at this point. It's really good. Okay. Anyway, so what percent of 16 is seven? By all means, press pause and do this one by yourself. Okay. Press pause and do this by yourself. Okay, I'll try it now. What percent is what we don't know? I'll call it P. Of means multiply. Multiplied by. P multiplied by 16 is equals 7, right? So 16 it goes here, the 7 goes here. So what percent is P of times 16 is 7. Okay, And when you solve that equation for P, you divide by 16. You see? And now you just get P in its own. The percentage is 7 over 16. Now once again, some students, when they see this equation, they go, what percent of 16 is 7? Oh, I've got to get 7 out of 16. So they think about that. They go, okay, well, 16 is kind of like the the total and 7 is the part so I want to get 7 out of 16 and they just make this fraction and then they go from there and that's fine you can do that if you like I kind of like to set up the equation just at least in the video just for the practice okay 
So now we have to turn this into a decimal. And then after it's in a decimal form, we can put it in percent form. Okay. So 16 into 70. 16 into 7 goes 0 times. 16 into 70. Let's see. Um, well, 20 goes 20, 40, 60. Uh, so four four twenties is eighty. I'm gonna try four. If it doesn't work, I'll try something else. Four times six is twenty four. Carry the two. Four times one is four, and two is six. Subtract seventy minus sixty four is six. Bring a zero down. Sixteen into sixty goes. Uh, I'll try three times. Three times six is eighteen. Carry the one. 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 is 4. Subtract. 60 minus 48 is 12. Down to 0. Now, what's this? 16 into 120. <laughs> 5 sixteens is 80. Oh my goodness, this, this isn't going to be right either is it let's see uh, nine, six, seven. I'm going to try seven times seven times six is forty two carry the four seven times seven seven times one is seven and four seven and four is eleven okay need another zero huh because 120 minus twelve hundred and twelve is eight put this zero down and now this time it should work sixteen into eighty goes five times 5 sixteens is 80. Subtract, we get 0. At last remainder 0. So the answer is totally 0 0.4375. And now, so we've got the perc we've got the percentage or the answer as a fraction and a decimal. But now we have to turn the decimal into a percent. So how do you turn that decimal into a percent? Well, move the decimal point one, two spaces to the right <coughs> to get 43.75 per cent. Okay?